Hi, it's Kate Griffiths here from Whole Self Leadership and I've come on today because I want to share another tip using a new colour, red, which may help you to feel better about yourself and to have a more well-being and more resilience as you go forward. So let me get to it. So let's start by looking at these two red bottles. What do you see and what do you feel? What images or words do you associate with the colour red? And you may feel differently because these look slightly different about each bottle. So just take a moment and don't suppress anything that's coming up for you because it's all information. So that's the first thing. And when we're working with young people in schools, we have a mantra that goes with this. And that is, I am responsible for what I choose to feel. So as you consider that, what do you think about the word responsibility? Well, I know when I talk to my two teens, there's a bit of a heaviness about the word. But let's just turn it around. If you turned it around to actually meant your ability to respond, how does that feel? How does that make you feel? Because that's the key to this. And I want to give you a story which might help to make some sense of what I'm talking about. Some time ago, my eldest daughter, who's now 14, asked me if we would give her more pocket money because she felt that some of her friends were getting more money and they clearly were. And my response was no. We had a system, we had a rule and that was that. Now, how do you feel when somebody says no to you? I know she wasn't very happy about that and she didn't really like any of the suggestions that I was coming up with. And then some months later, when we found ourselves in lockdown and life was tough in some ways, out of the blue and through her own decision, she chose to set up her own business, which is selling tie-dye socks that she has created herself. So this is about what taking responsibility means that you need to find your own expression for that. So I hope that's given you some ideas and I'd like you to go away this week and think about what are some of the things that you do that you want to stop doing because they don't make you feel good. For example, if you bite your nails, that actually weakens your nail bed. So maybe come up with one or two things that you want to stop doing. And then what are a couple of things you'd like to start doing? I really hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you have, please do share it with your friends. Like it, leave me some comments and subscribe to the channel. Thanks so much and see you again soon. Bye for now.